there's all kinds of surveys and things out there that talk about how confidence is such an attractive quality yeah. in both men and women yes. dating. And of course, confidence can serve us well in all aspects of life, but but on a date where we maybe feel it a little more vulnerably or a little more personally than some other aspects of life, coming with that confidence and that presence and that lightness of energy, that is going to make a difference in dating. Yeah, 100%. And confidence translates the way we read if someone's confident is if they're relaxed. Mm. That's how we read it on a date. And usually relaxed equals playful. And a lot of the times it at least equals curious. It at least equals present and very often it equals playful. So that's what we're feeling. I'm just being honest here. That's what we're noticing is guys, we're noticing how relaxed you are. Um, and if you can be relaxed and curious, then we're going to feel that we're going to be like, she's wow. What is it about this girl? Like she's so, she's so cool. I want to get to know this woman more. Mm -hmm. Well, and the word curious, Mark, I don't know if you're going to dance with this or not a little bit, but that stands out for me too, because Curious is a, a sense where you're engaging and you're interested in knowing who this person is and maybe sharing a bit back and forth, but it, it's not going to feel like an interrogation or a job interview. Right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's a very childhood, like playful, curious. I want to know more. I'm intrigued. It has, a, it has an endearing quality to it. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So what else you want to share about uh, ways to make a fantastic first day impression? Yeah, I think just, just a couple more points about before you're even on the date, because I do think this matters. Um, number one, you want to get to a point where you're reasonably happy with yourself. I mean, this kind of goes without saying, so I won't spend too much time on it. But, you know, if you're having like a really terrible time in your life or if it's things really not working or you're really not happy with your fitness or something like that, maybe your finances, you might be better off staying out of dating if you're going to bring that. If, if you're honestly just like, hey, I know this energy is going to leak into my dating. It's probably not the best time to be going dating. You generally want to be dating when you're like, yeah, you know what? I've had some wins this week. Even if they're little wins, I can bring that energy to dating. I'm doing well on my, whatever my diet or my uh, finances or my job applications, whatever it is. You, it, It's hard if a lot of things are going badly. It's hard not to let that leak over to your dating. So just checking where am I at with my dating? Am I in a good enough place? Do I see some like light in the world? Do I see some vibrance? I think that's important. Uh, looking at this, a couple of things here. Um, this is a big one, actually. When you go on dates, being more selfish about where you go and what you do. So I think a lot of you women out there tend to just follow the guy's lead. And mm -hmm. often the guy's lead is very bland. It's like, hey, let's get a coffee down there. You know, it's it's like, I don't know about you. Maybe you love coffee, Michelle, but coffee, I hate coffee. Um, I couldn't think of anything worse than a coffee date or even a dinner date. Um, I always want my dates to include some movement. So if we're eating, I want it to be a walk. Um, otherwise, I want to go somewhere where I know even if the woman's really boring, I'm going to have fun because right? I'm not at work. This is like my non-work time. So I want to enjoy this. So if she turns out to be, you know, a cardboard cut out or something close to it. <laughs> um, hell, I want to be, I want a nice view to sit with my cardboard cutout, right? I right, want to enjoy right. that shit. So even though you may not be suggesting the date idea, ladies, try to steer the guy selfishly towards something that you more like, right? You can be like, hey, how about this? Or how about here? Um, I love that. Maybe we could try this or move towards this later on. <coughs> Excuse me. Make it something you enjoy. Always ask yourself the question, if this guy is as boring as a piece of cardboard, am I still going to have fun here? You've got to be selfish about this stuff, okay? Because if the answer is no, change the date locale. Do something different. Make more movement. At least walk past a tree that you like or something, right? You can climb the tree and you don't even have to talk to him and then you have fun that way. Um, your energy bringing out your vibrancy is about knowing what you enjoy. And so if you end up, if you don't like coffee and you end up having coffee with someone just sitting down monotonously staring at them, um, that's not a good date set up to bring your energy, right? It's terrible. I just, I don't know how you could have fun on that, especially if you don't like coffee. 
So think ahead about what you enjoy and make, you know, be selfish about it. Be a teammate with the guy. And if he suggests something that you're like, I know if this guy is boring, I'm going to be so batshit bored if we go on this date. Steer it away from that. You know, you have a voice too, even though he might be choosing it. Yeah. So how do you recommend the woman uh, positions that if the guy does put something out there that sounds really boring, like, yeah. for example, a coffee date? And then also, how does a woman get past this idea of, well, maybe it's better just to have a coffee date because if he is boring, then I can get out of there fast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you if you. Uh, I don't know. I personally wouldn't want to kind of go in with that mentality. Um, if I wanted a short date, I'd still want it to be like something short that I enjoyed. Um, to be honest, what you described there, like, oh, if he's boring, I'll have a short date. That's a phone call to me. Mm -hmm. That's something I want to be doing that way I don't even have to put pants on, right? It's like, right. let's have a phone call to see if we vibe. And that can be the 20 minute date. Right. Um, that's actually another point I was going to make as well is filter your dates more effectively by using phone calls. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, how would I recommend? Well, let's say he suggests something boring. Let's say he texts, hey, do you want to grab, you know, coffee down the street? Just make it playful and steer it away. Just be like, actually, I'm not a massive coffee drinker. Uh, did you want to look at something like this instead? What else would be fun for us? Just kind of steer it away. Like if this is potentially a future husband, maybe, you don't know, but Probably not, probably practice guy, but whatever. Um, work with him, like be a teammate with him. Just figure out something else. Doesn't have to be anything uh, fancy. Find somewhere you want to walk. You know, if, mm. if, if nothing else fails, let's go for a walk. Go for a walk around somewhere you find really pretty. Um, let's go for a walk around here. You know, we can get a takeout coffee if you, if you do like coffee. Yeah, don't, don't make it fancy. Just make it something that I, I really recommend including movement in your dates. Movement is life. Movement is energy. So movement is also feminine energy. So if you can include movement in some way, that's really, really good. It, it gives you a lot of new stimuli as well, just sensory all around. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not difficult. Just do it gently, um, but be like, hey, what about this instead? Or hey, not hugely into this. What about something like this? So the guy will work with you. I don't think it has to be jarring. Yeah. And I, I love the idea. I, I feel like walking dates or like you said, where there's some movement, I think that can be a really great way to kind of break the tension in the ice too, because there's things around you that you can talk about or that you can comment on, or at least there's scenery and somehow like the side to side when you're walking along together feels differently than just sitting right across from someone like in a coffee shop. It's more like yeah. it's just in, it, it makes the conversation more easy and flowing. Yeah. Well, there's a third entity when you're interview style, you've got two entities. When you're walking style, you've got three entities. You've got the two of you and then you've got all the outside world that you're looking at. So it's always nice to have a focus that's outside of the two of you because it takes the pressure off. And that, again, makes you more relaxed, more playful, more confident. Yeah. And I, I was just thinking back, my husband and I, our very first date, was at kind of like an outdoor like craft and food festival yeah and we were just walking around this place it was very comfortable very relaxed because there were all these things that we could look at up here and have a little bit of something to eat you know just yeah. a little treat or snack and it was just very relaxed and comfortable there was like Perfect. no nervousness we were just like seeing the craft seeing the booth seeing the people tasting the food yeah nice really relaxed beautiful and an easy, easy first date. Yeah. Super cute. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. So you just made me think about that. I hadn't thought about <laughs> that for a little while. We've been married now for 15 years. So it had been a while. Congratulations. Thank that's you. awesome. My Thank parents you. are about to celebrate their 42nd year. Oh, that's great. Isn't that crazy? Awesome. <sighs>